You guys, I'm nervous. Like, I don't know if this is gonna look cute. Coronavirus! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a uh, hair transformation. We have another wig install. These are slowly but surely becoming my favorite kinds of videos because I just feel like I'm getting real good at it, you know? I'm getting real good at my wig installs. This time, I know like we've done the headband wigs, we've done closure wigs, and now we got 13 by 6 frontal. This beautiful wig from Yolisa Hair. I actually worked with Yolisa Hair um, on a previous video where I did that headband wig install and that curly hair was so pretty they were like do you want to try a full wig like a, a frontal wig the curly hair though and it's in this really pretty light like honey blonde color ah, I it. I'm gonna color it it's gonna be real cute i mean you guys probably saw like the little intro and then the thumbnail but i i don't know what it's gonna look like yet because i haven't done it yet but i know it's gonna come out cute like i'm real excited okay so if you guys are interested in watching me transform into a baddie an instagram baddie then make sure you keep watching don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and join the family We're almost at 60k i'm so excited girl i love you guys and yeah let's just get right into this video okay so for this wig i'm gonna be using the watercolor method to dye it it's in the color. What color is this? Actually, I don't remember what color this is. They sent me this really dark. Look at this wig cap that they sent. That's way too dark. It's darker than me. I can't use that. It's a good thing I already had some, but like, girl. I believe this lace is medium brown. It's a lace front wig, 13 by 6. Um, frontal 24 inches so it's really long um it's 180 percent density oh she's really long look at how long this is oh purr. she's giving blondie yeah this color is like I, I don't know like i wouldn't wear this color like by the way that it is but i'll definitely dye it i told you guys i'm gonna be using the watercolor method to dye this hair i'm actually gonna be using a box dye to dye it this is the box dye that i'm gonna be using from a dark and lovely it's number 66 spicy red i mainly picked this out because of how pretty the girl is on the box but like also this color is like so pretty it's giving me like scissor like scissor vibes so i'm gonna try and like give y'all a scissor look I feel like that would be really cute. I have my hot water on the stove boiling, so you might hear it in the background. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put my hot water in this little bucket that I have. I'm not gonna fill it too high. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna mix the dye in the bottle the way, follow the instructions on the box, and then I'm just gonna dump it in here and show you guys how I'm dyeing it. Oh, before I go in and dye it, I wanna actually, I want to show you guys the inside. So, this is what the frontal is looking like. 13 by 6 is a lot of space. So, that means it goes back 6 inches and then it's 13 inches across, which is a really nice size. And then it has tracks down the rest of the wig. You have a comb at the nape of the neck. You have adjustable straps so that you can make it smaller, you know, tighten the tighten it if you need to. And then there's two combs along the top. She's cute. The curls look cute. They look like the same curls that I had on um, that headband wig from Yolisa hair. They're just a little bit looser because this has been bleached, obviously. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually spray the knots with my got to be because I want them to stay this light color. Uh uh, why is it spraying like that? The best way to make your wig just look really cute. And really just like slate is to customize it as much as possible it's like tweezing dyeing cutting the hair shit like that you know because like i feel like when you just wear a wig like straight out of the pack i don't know it don't be given scalp it don't be given like blade um there are some but i don't know this is spraying so stupid yeah so i'm gonna just spray these knots um because i don't want them to change color i don't want them to change to the color of the the spicy red the dye so yeah i just i'm just spraying the knots on this wig i'm gonna let that dry i just pour my hot water into this bucket 
I'm gonna add a little bit of like, this is boiling hot water, but it's not that high. So I don't wanna have too much water in here cause then it'll dilute the dye to like a really light color. But I wanna make sure that it's potent, you know, <laughs> that the color is there. I'm gonna still go, I'm gonna add a little bit of sink water, like some like warm sink water. Cause this is really hot. I don't wanna burn the hair either, you know? I feel like this is a good amount of water. Not too much, not too little. I shook up the dye. I have these gloves on. And I'm about to just add this to the water. I'm trying to do this on camera. Ooh, hot. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I get all this dye <laughs> out of this bottle. <laughs> Yo, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so this is what the water looks like. I didn't mix all of the dye in there yet, but I'm about to. Ooh. It's definitely giving orange. It's giving orange. I know it's probably gonna get a little bit darker. Yeah, so this is what this looks like, right? And I'm about to dunk the hair in the water. In the dye. Now I Y'all know how watercolor methods go. You you know what it is. So I did the watercolor method with the with this, right? But the color, I'm guessing because the original color of the hair was like a honey blonde, so it's it had a lot of brown in it. It wasn't as vibrant as the box, which I should have guessed because it wasn't 613 hair. But I wasn't really feeling it. Like it wasn't giving orange. It wasn't giving red. It was just looked like brown with like the slightest tint of like orange, like warmth. Like it looked auburn, but it wasn't even giving auburn. Like I really would have needed to either bleach it prior to using this box dye or just using 613 um, hair. So I knew I had some of this Adore Raging Red dye hair dyes this semi-permanent hair color so i just added a very like little bit to that watercolor um mixture with the box dye and this is the color that it came out like because the undertone of the raging red is pink it's like literally like a red dye but like the undertone is very pink i feel like the hair just pulled all of the pink out of the the raging red so now it's giving like you know, she's giving like pinky, like burgundy-ish, which is still cute. Not the color I was going for, but it's still cute. I feel like I can still, you know, do something cute with this. So I don't, I've never done this color before either. So I'm kind of excited. I want to let this hair air dry because it's curly hair. Um, I'm not going to blow dry it or anything. Um, but I'm gonna put some curling product in it because I feel like she needs it. <laughs> this is a Manuka Honey and Yogurt Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. This is for um, dry hair, dyed hair, colored hair, color treated hair. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and just massage it through these curls because she needs i did um condition when i washed the hair out i washed it out in cold water so that i could you know preserve the color you're not supposed to wash it out in hot water so i am getting shedding i had shedding when i was like just dipping it in the bucket and i haven't combed it or anything i've literally just been finger detangling and i'm getting hair shedding so be mindful of that messed up this color, she's pretty. I just don't know, like this, I hope this looks good on me. <laughs> I'm like looking at it in the mirror and I'm trying to picture it on my head. Definitely getting some shedding. On the little like instruction card for this hair, it said not to style it or anything while it's wet. So <laughs> I'm not listening because I'm like combing it, but I'm only finger detangling. It's a pretty color. It is. It's a pretty color. It's it's like burgundy. I wasn't planning on doing burgundy, but it's cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna tweeze the hairline on this wig a little bit um, while the hair is still wet. 
because I like to wall the hair like like I usually put like a lot of mousse and then spray it with water as I'm plucking I feel like it allows me to see the hairline better I'm gonna do that and I'll just speed through it for you guys Ooh, it's the skin for me. Okay, so I just finished customizing the hairline, tweezing it, pulling out my baby hairs. So I'm gonna tint the lace with my lace tint that I have. This one right here, it's the Bold Hold Lace Tint in Caramel. You guys, I'm nervous. Like, I don't know if this is gonna look cute. Like, I really wanted it to be orange though. Kinda sad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to attempt this again, but actually get like an orange, a really orange color. Tint my lace so that it matches. This is like the same color as my um, my bronzer. So when I do my makeup, it'd be like so seamless. I love. And then I need to wait for that to dry. I'm gonna cut the lace off of the... Um, I need to do my bald cap. Because I just like... Ooh. I put, I put it on right after I showered and like slicked it back and everything. So it's really flat right now. I haven't done a frontal wig install in so long. Oh my gosh. Go down all the way. I'm gonna... a little bit of the lace tint on my ball cap because I wanted to see if I could tint my ball cap with it and it works it's just that it's wet and I don't know if I want to put wet on the free spray because it might cause the ball cap to slide back I'm just gonna take my Fenty bronzer in caramel cutie and I'm gonna dust it over my ball cap just to tint that I've never done red before and I was gonna do like a more vibrant red but this is like a more subtle red but i'm still gonna do the more vibrant red at some point okay i'm gonna go on with the bold hold active glue i was just on alonzo arnold's page and he was using it and he swears by it remember when i did an install i did the um the closure that black jet black straight middle part and i used it and it turned white on me i don't know why Oh, I got the worst pain in my shoulder. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that happened. And I didn't want to just like say like, okay, I'm not going to use this glue anymore. Like I want to make it work for me because it's supposed to be like for like people who sweat. You know, it's active. People who sweat, 
um, who are really oily or if you want to like get wet like I be seeing people like that ass like in jacuzzis in the pool on the beach like getting their whole wig wet and I feel like the second mine gets wet it slides back the second I start sweating my wig is sliding back I don't know what it is but like I need to figure out what everybody else is doing and how they're able to just be out here full wig on in the water but I'm gonna use it again I'm gonna do three layers because I want this wig to stay on for a while I want it to stay on for at least a week so I'm gonna do three layers the first layer I'm gonna let it dry all the way clear and then I'm gonna go in with the second layer and then the third layer see my edges they always find their way out like they always just make their way to the front <laughs> I'm gonna push it back. Like seriously, I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it where you like, I feel like the second I start sweating, my wig literally like the glue gets reactivated and then it slides back. Like <laughs> that shit is so irritating. So somebody help me out. Ugh, somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong. Second layer. Third layer. That was the third layer. Should I go on with the fourth layer? It says I can go up to seven. Should I go on with the third a fourth layer? It says I could do up to seven on the side of the bottle. Should I do four? If I really want it to be secure, probably, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do a fourth layer. I don't think I I normally go on with four. I think I normally do three. So maybe this extra layer will help with it just sticking better. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to fully dry and then I'm gonna stick the wick on. Um, I think we're good to go. I mean, I just tried to see if it was dry. I mean, sticky hair and it literally like stuck to my little comb. So I think she's ready. Um, I'm gonna pull it all the way down and just make sure. The middle part is centered where I want it to be. She is secure! So, I feel like the Little Mermaid. I feel like Ariel right now. Look at my little tabs. I have red hair, red orangey hair, coraly hair. Who is she? Who is she? This little um like eyebrow thingy, face shaver, whatever the hell you want to call this. I'm gonna try and get as close to the hairline as possible without cutting the baby hairs off. Okay, this yeah, this lace is definitely not transparent. It is kind of dark actually. It's darker than I would like it to be. Colored hair should always, I mean, yeah, blonde hair should always come on um, transparently. <sighs> what do we think? How are we feeling? I don't know. This hair is very long. 24 inches is very long. Very, very, very long.
Hey, hey, throw that. Throw that. Bitch, I look good and you know that. This no baby holes for me. Uh. Okay, so this is what the hair was looking like. Um, It's still kind of damp, like especially in the back. 24 inches and it's like, it's, it's practically at my waist. No, it is at my waist, for sure. <laughs> On camera, it looks red, but it's more... there. I can see the orange, the orange hue to it. So much hair. Okay, I just did a wand curl with my one inch barrel and I have a narrower one and I low key want to see what that would look like but I also like the way this looks. I think I'm gonna just do wand curls all over. I can't tell if I like this side or the curly. It's two different vibes. It looks like princess here. Hi. Ooh. Big drink, big drink. Okay. I curled one side. Which side do we like? The curls? The curl the, the wand curls or the, the natural curls? I can't, I really can't decide. I like them both equally. Like this with some mousse in it to just define the curls would be so pretty but then this is also like this is so pretty like look at these i didn't put no product in the hair i haven't put anything in it i literally just um conditioned it after i washed the dye out but oh that's so pretty that is really pretty yeah i think i'm gonna curl the other side i could rock the um these natural curls in like a few days, I'll probably just re-wet the, the hair as it's on my head. It's, it's giving princess hair, like literally. I feel like a princess. <laughs> I feel like so cute. Look at these curls, this hair has a beautiful shine to it. It still feels really soft. Um, the conditioner that came in that box of dye smells so good. And I conditioned the hair when I washed. Just rinsed it out with cold water. I conditioned it and it, it just smells so good. It, look at this hair. This hair is so glam. <gasps> ah, I have to do my makeup now. I want to take this off just to see. actually a cream foundation from black opal in Kala Callahan sand 2 to be using this sometimes it's a cream foundation but it has like a powder finish so it's very cute I must say I like the long curls on top of the curly texture um, Like, I really need to do my makeup now so that I can fully transform. Like, who is she? Who is she? What's my name? So, Jet Black straight middle part is Kim. Kim. Um, and the Bob. What was the Bob? I forgot the Bob's name. I really forgot her name. But she, what were we gonna call her? She's low key, like she's giving me Britney, not Britney Spears, but like I'm just Britney. The name Britney just is coming to me as I'm looking at this color and this te this texture. <sighs> this hair, there's so much hair. Oh, 
It's so pretty. Look at those curls. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to glam, so BRB. You guys, I finished. I did my glam. This is it. This is the hair. Oh my gosh, it's giving. It really is. I'm so, I'm obsessed. Wait, I need to zoom out because you guys really need to like my ring light's gonna be visible, but you need to see how beautiful this hair is. You guys, this hair. <gasps> ah, I feel like a mermaid. I feel like I feel like scissor. <laughs> I feel like Cislana. <laughs> I feel like hair different, hair different, hair different, hair different. This is so freaking cute. You guys want a close up on this hairline that I fleeked? Come on now. Come on now. With the baby heels. Okay. With the part, the middle part. This is so cute. Like, and this hair looks so good, like wand curled, and it looks so cute, like in its natural state. Like I can't wait to wear it in its natural state. And I'm actually so pleased with the color. The color came out so good. I thought I wasn't gonna like it after I took it out the, after I washed out the dye and stuff. I was like, oh no, I messed this hair up. But like, it actually, it came out so cute. I want to call Bay and see what he's gonna say because. I, I was being, I was really trying to surprise him. Um, I posted on my story before I did my makeup with this hair, and I was like, wait, I don't want him to see it. Like, I want it to be a surprise, so I blocked him from viewing my story <laughs> just so that he wouldn't see it. But I'm about to unblock him after I call him. I'm about to call him. <laughs> I'm nervous. I always be nervous. Okay, here goes nothing. feeling like a Britney but I'm also I'm feeling like I'm really feeling Ariel too I think it's because of the curls like I don't even know did Ariel have curly hair she had like big hair let's vote let's let's vote I don't even know I guess I'll do a vote on my a poll on my story because they took away the polls feature for YouTube so cute if you guys enjoyed today's hair video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button down below as well and join the family for your post notifications okay period i'm uploading three times a week so there's three new uploads every single week i love you guys so much thank you so much for rocking with me okay period don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye